Alright, so this video is going to focus on using the uh, reference manager in uh, Microsoft Word 2010. Now what I have here is something I want to I want to cite in my report and the information is gotten from a book I'll show you. Air Conditioning Principles and Systems um, so we want to put in the information from this book into it, um, into Microsoft Word and then have it generate the reference for us. So what we're going to do is go over to the References tab and we are going to go to Citation and Bibliography. And right now we have APA style. So we're going to insert a citation and we're going to add a new source here. Okay, so now we can do a bunch of different um, things here. We do have a book and it gives us the fields needed for the APA 5th edition. So, um, and when we click on here, it gives us the examples of how we should do it. So this is, this book is, the author is Edward Pita. So we're gonna do Pita, and it's Edward G. Pita. So we're gonna do Pita, Edward G. And that is the only author, so we do not need to put any more from there. Um, the title, is air conditioning principles and systems. So air conditioning principles and systems. Now the year is usually found in the, um, one of the title pages of the book and you can find it uh, sometimes it's a little difficult to find and usually what you do is you use the most up-to-date year you can find. The most up-to-date year I can find in this is 2002 and on that same page in the first couple pages of the book you'll find the city so you look for where um, it was published which city and this has been published in lots of different cities so what I normally do is use the top um, city in the list and the publisher in this case is Prentice Hall International So, if you want to be a little more complete, again, this is the bibliography fields for APA 5th edition. You can show all the bibliography fields and fill them all in. So this way, if you have, uh, you know, if you have more information here and you can put it in, and you change from APA 5th edition, then you can go forward and, and make that, and it'll make that change uh, and cite it that way. So, okay, so we're all done putting in the information here. So let's hit OK. OK, and as you can see, it puts the citation there. Now, but that's not all we want to do, right? We always want to have the citations in the text and the bibliography. So let's go down here and let's, you know, make some sort of heading and bibliography. And then we want to go ahead back to references and go to bibliography. And we want to uh, have a either we can have a work cited um, which just includes all the sources associated with the document which is what you normally want to do but a bibliography also ha you can um, you can add some other things in that you didn't necessarily cite I think a work cited will work for us so let's do work cited so as you can see it inserts the um, PETA in for us and with all the information that we uh, we put in it so um, sometimes you have to update here to make it a more complete list. And ooh, look, I didn't even know this, but it put the work cited in there for us, so that's great. So if we put another thing in there, if we add, and if we added some more sources, or maybe if we if we did PETA later, um, then we could always go to insert citation, and now we have PETA in in our list up here. So that's really nice because that way we can just insert the PETA book wherever we want and then uh, right away it happens. Now, the even the nice other nice thing about it is that sometimes we want to switch from different um, things. So I use IEEE a lot. So let's see what happens when we click IEEE. Okay, so IEEE numbers everything um, with uh, uh, how, when you use it in the document. So it'll automatically convert to there. Again, what if we want to use MLA? So MLA, let's say 6th edition does a little differently. So you can see that it's a tiny bit different 
um, formatting here. Again, let's do it one more time. Huh. Turabian 6th edition. Not sure what that is, but let's see what happens. Okay, so it looks very similar. So again, there's little differences, but it's really easy, and you don't have to be... Now all your documents are very friendly as to which um, which way you want to cite your things. So that's the that's the reference manager. It's much, much easier than trying to do it yourself.